Good afternoon, this is Rob with Next Truck Sales and I wanna take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2014 Kenworth T680. It features a Packard MX-13 liter at 485 horsepower and 1650 torque, along with a 13-speed manual transmission. I will take you through the truck, show you the features, and explain some of the things that we've done, as well as the process. If you are watching this video from outside of Canada, say in the US, I'll explain the process of getting the truck to Buffalo. So let's have a look here. You'll see it's got excellent tires all around. We polished the wheels, we just gave it a bath. It's ready for the video. So let, we'll just do a visual walk around of the truck. You'll see it's not new, but it is in good condition. We did repaint this bumper. It's got a fresh coat of paint on there. It had some damage from, looked like picked up something from the road. It kind of busted the underside of, of the bumper right in and about there. <clears throat> so we repainted it. You'll see there are some stone chips on the front. You'll see some corrosion here on the chrome is missing on that mirror mount. Uh, you'll see the grill has a little bit of damage here as well. Uh, going around here, you'll see excellent Michelin steering tires. They're probably, you know what, I'm going to get the hood up and I'll give you my best guesstimate. Okay, looking at this, I'm going to say they're at least 80% tread. They are X-Line, <laughs> excuse me, X-Line Energy Z. Uh, we polished the aluminum wheels that are on the front here. And you can see it's got disc brakes, so that'll give you better stopping power. You'll notice underneath the hood that we've sandblasted and painted the chassis. Looks good. Our shop is one of the best around that I know of, and we drive it at least an hour to get to him because he's that good. Uh, he's painted the inner fender liners as well. Have a look here, you'll see oil pan is dry, no leaks. Uh, have a look over here, give you a look underneath the hood. It looks like we've got a little bit of a drip here coming from that, and that's not entirely tight, so that might explain. I just see a little drip of coolant here, so we'll. I'll just find out what we did there and get back to you. I'll post it in the um, in the description. Going through the rest of the truck here, you can see no body damage. Nice, bright Viper blue. This has got the big 76 inch sleeper on it. Okay, come to the back. We've got Hankook drive tires on outside aluminum wheels. So the inside wheels are steel, the outsides are aluminum and we've polished them. So have a look there, you can see and we've got all Hankook drive tires. They're gotta be at least, I think some of them are brand new and the rest will be, yeah, these two are brand new. You can see these gotta be 90% 90, 90 on all of them. Have a look here. Okay, we've got a Holland 3500 sliding fifth wheel. Now let's have a look at the back here. We've got our 40,000 pound rear differential on Kenworth AG400, which is your 40,000 pound suspension and we've got disc brakes in the back here as well so all wheel disc brakes uh, this sliding fifth wheel looks like it's got about 18 inches of travel we've got full skirts we've got led lamps here led lamps up at the top let's take a look at the other side and see what we've got here <clears throat> so we've got led lamps there as well and it looks like somebody's upgraded the tail or the reverse lights to LEDs, so all LED lighting, which is nice and bright. Let's have a look back here. You'll see we've got 120 gallons fuel on this side. We'll check the other. Probably another 120. Yep, 120 on both sides. You get your Webasto air top bunk heater is there. And we've got a pogo stick there to hold up all of your uh, airlines and keep them from rubbing on the back of the cab. I do like those pogo sticks. There's may maybe not as convenient for tying up the airlines, but they definitely keep the airlines off the back of the cab and don't rub through. <clears throat> Cosmetically, we've got a little bit of a crinkle here. I'll give you a good look at that. Certainly not the worst. It's only in the bunk door. Let's have a look inside of here. We've got an inverter. We've got a subwoofer. Okay, and your HVAC vent is there. We'll come on the inside, we'll, we'll have a good look at that. <clears throat> now, on this side here, we've got a vent, and I think on the other side, we have a window. Let me just check that. Yeah, so we've got a window and two doors. That one I'll open up from the inside in a bit. Let's give me one minute, 
right, let's see what's down here. So we've got our factory air conditioning unit and then we've got a full pass through here. Okay, let's go over on the other side and have a look. I'll get the engine running in a minute once I take you through the inside. We got another Michelin, 80, 90% tread. Have a look over here. So no oil leaks, no check engine lights. The only thing I got to look at is that, that coolant that looks like it's maybe, you know, I looked at it again. Looks like maybe this clamp is loose because I see a little bit of moisture here. We'll come back to that and see if it needs a hose, a clamp or an expansion tank. One of one of the above or if it's coming from up above, I'm not sure. But we'll figure it out and make sure that when we sell it, it that's all fixed up. So not to worry about that. Uh, as far as the annual inspection goes, you'll see here it's dated November 22. Let's go inside and have a look. Now, one little blemish in the paint here is some paint peeling. Looks like I got hit with a pressure washer on some sewn chips and a little bit of, of a scratch probably from the filler nozzle on the def tank. Okay, over here we've got the VIT interior, which is your upgraded top of the line wood grain button tuck interior. They call it VIT. In here we've got your standard Kenworth seat, cigarette burn here doesn't smell too bad to be honest it doesn't smell like a smoker truck but obviously it it was at one point uh, power locks mirrors and windows uh, we've got a nearly brand new steering wheel it's not new but certainly in excellent condition and i'm going to uh, shut the door and start it up let's have a listen okay so we've got the Kenworth Nav Plus Navigation. We've got, uh, what do we got here? We got um, cruise control, we've got differential locks, and we have a check engine light. This is a crankcase ventilation computer, which we have on order. It's been on back order. Uh, the repair for that is going to be included with the truck part to show up um, but the parts on back order it's a crankcase ventilation I want to say ventilation computer something to that effect so that light will be addressed uh, looking over here so we've got obviously all of your uh, exterior light check you got your um, your mood lighting and your interior lights you've got your LED work lights at the back and then you've got your navigation system which you can upgrade to a 2022 map if you so choose okay and then we've got some extra gauges over here so we've got def air pressure brake application water oil pressure voltage fuel and then we've got a whole bunch of other um, gauges on this side which are going to show you your dpf your boost oil temperature and a bunch of other features and there's actually two pages of stuff here uh, fan override which is nice engine brake traction control force the regen and a diff lock along with automatic climate control which we just turned on here there we go um, this has got the spin around table so this uh, sorry spin around chair so this chair will spin around and face that table over here so let's come back and have a look i'll get some lights on in the back so still to install the mattress we put all new mattresses in all of our trucks all the time doesn't matter if it's a hundred thousand dollar tractor or a five thousand dollar tractor nobody wants to sleep in somebody else's used mattress if you have a look here you'll see the button tuck material and yeah so we've got one new mattress in here if i remember correctly we had mattresses on order and they are still coming and unfortunately with some of the things with covid you know it, we ordered the crankcase computer and it's still coming and we've ordered mattresses and they're still coming and everything sometimes is just harder to get so um we will talk about the those parts when we um if we if you're interested and we do make a deal we'll confirm the timing on when those parts are expected to show up uh, looking up here we've got microwave mount we've got more secure storage up here we've got another secure storage so this would be a cute little way to plug in your uh your microwave so you're going to stick your cord through there and plug it right into that receptacle uh this here is your table and that just 
conveniently spins out of the way and gives you access to some nice large drawers that latch and they open up and the nice thing they put uh, carpet on the bottom you think why would they do that because when you drive down the road it doesn't rattle so that's is a really nice feature anybody who's driven a truck knows the last thing you want is rattles in the back uh, this door here will open this is not for going in and out of um, but it is for putting gear through so that's a really good way to load bags or anything large into the back of the truck and then this will roll up and clip up to there or you can lock it underneath that railing and it'll pull down tight uh, over here we've got a flat screen television mount along with a plug and a coaxial cable right down below there and we've got more lighting and we've also got a cute little red light that comes on here um, when you turn on your mood lighting now coming over to here we've got let's see one of the best features is a fridge on off switch we've got a bunk heater over here and we've got a power inverter let's see if we get some light on here so lots of features for this truck okay and then obviously you've got your refrigerator is here let's have a look okay and you've got a step to go up to the second level as well as a blow gun to clean out some of the uh the stuff inside of your truck another secure storage so I think that's about enough about the interior. Let's go out and have a look at this engine running. What I'm going to do is I will get the, uh, take the oil filler cap off, show you the blow by, take you underneath the engine, show you it's not leaking. And, um, and then if you decide that that's what you like, then obviously we're gonna talk more, but I wanna show you, it's kind of hard to talk with the engine running. So I'm gonna take the oil filler cap off, you'll see, how much blow by is coming out and from there you it's a pretty good indication that the engine is in very good condition so let's do that i'm also going to show you the rating plate here a couple of other things 3.36 rating uh gear ratio 455 my apologies i mentioned 485 it's a 455 and it's a 1650 torque 13 speed let's uh come over on this side you'll see it is um to meet DOT uh, certification so we've got compliance labels on this stating that it, it meets um, it meets the emissions required in California and in the uh, US let's have a listen and a look. okay so as you see very minimal blow by and this engine is good and hot so that's a good indication that there's you know it's got a lot of life left in it uh, I would expect one or two more years out of this before you'd be looking at any type of an overhaul take a look on the other side close up the hood hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea of what we've got here for sale so if you have any questions about it obviously give me a call uh, my number is 289-259-6054 that's my cell phone or you can send me a text message uh, and if you are watching this video from the US I guess the question on this is um, how do I purchase the truck we have a yard in Buffalo where we can deliver the truck to simply deliver it to that spot where you can uh, fly into the Buffalo Airport pick it up from there drive it home we'll supply you with temporary license plates and uh, we'll supply you with all the paperwork that you need to convert the title from Canada to USA and it's really that simple we do it on a regular basis it's not that hard so hope to hear from you soon if you like the truck give me a call 289-259-6054 Rob at Next Truck Sales thanks and bye for now